so now to test our skimmer. I have nothing on this skimmer here. This is just a basic one that I've put together. Um, and so when you test it, you want it to glide. And so I keep it nice and close to the ground and it's almost like bowling. So I'm gonna go ahead and move back so you can see a lot more. So a lot of times when I go to have it go, I just keep it close to the ground and I let it go. And that was actually a pretty good glide there. If you <laughs> lift up on the end, it runs the risk of flying up in the air. So watch, if I'm up here, <laughs> that wasn't, you know, but you can't just throw it. So watch, I'm gonna throw it. Okay, it's not meant to fly. It is a skimmer. You really want to skim across the ground. There are launchers and things of that sort. If you wanted to research it, you can research it. Um, a lot of times, you don't bother doing a launcher. The launcher is gonna involve these guys here. So paper clips and hooking them up to the bottom along with you know, rubber bands and other various things. But we usually, we just toss ours like a nice bowling toss. So I'm gonna go ahead. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, keep going to the ground, let it go. 30 feet without even trying. So, um, not sure how much of that you can actually see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it again on the way back. So I got this. All right, I'm gonna go a little bit of the ground. Another 30 feet without really even trying. All right, so if you've done a good job measuring everything out, hopefully it skims quite well for you. Other things you can do to improve the quality of your air skimmer, you can add a little bit of weight to the front, but do not interfere with this piece right here. Okay, so you want that airflow to go through. So if you put a paper clip on it, don't close, don't close that gap. Okay, don't squeeze it, and don't ruin that ability there. Okay, other types of weights, if you can think of it, you can use it. Good luck.